Hey YouTube. This here is my ceiling fan wind generator. Um, basically what I did was I took the ring that goes around here out and I replaced it with this piece of steel banding. And you can get these at Home Depot. And uh, you can even double these up to get your magnets closer. It's kind of hard to do. I'd rather just get smaller magnets to make up a little gap here. You know, smaller magnets in there. Uh, anyway, my magnets are north, south, north, south, and that's the way they go all the way around. North, south, north, south, north, south. And it just happens to work out that way. And this is a, a pretty thick stator, so it's got a little more copper in it because it's thicker. Uh, it's about one and a quarter inch thick, the stator here. Um, I already had to reverse my lid because you don't want your blades on the side where the wires come out. You want the, the wires in the back. So you have to switch the covers so that your cover where you're going to mount your blades is on the front. And to do that you have to remove the bearings, put the bearings back in. But yeah, I just wanted to show you that. I know there's a few videos on it. Uh, the mud man it's got a few videos out tell you how to do that but I just want to show you the inside and the placement of the magnets so I place my magnets here this will be north this will be south north south all the way around north north south north south north south all the way around you can use a compass to uh figure that out or you can simply just have one magnet put it if it pulls to this magnet you turn the magnet around you want the magnet to repel this one and that, you know put it here you'll figure that out but a compass is the best way to go and yeah I just wanted to just put this up on YouTube my next video will be what it puts out. Is it putting out any any type of DC power? I'm gonna have it hooked up to the rectifier. But first I gotta get my cover on and uh, mount my blades. I'm gonna have a good windy day where this thing is cranking. And I'll hook it up to my uh, rectifier and my multimeter and we'll see what this thing is doing that'll be on the next video I just wanted to show you guys this now what I used to cut this banding was a um, air power grinder I used my compressor to cut this let's give you another look at what it looks like you get these at Home Depot they have the, the holes in it it's a lot easier to bend I tried the thicker steel and it's very hard to bend. All right, this was the best I could find so far. Uh, other than banding, it's just really hard to find where I am. So I use this here. It has the holes in it, and you sell it. They sell it at Home Depot. I don't know, it's like a couple bucks. Uh, you could cut this with a um, hacksaw. Well, it's not a lot of work. But I used a grinder for mine. And I got good cogging on here. That's what you want to look for, the cogging. Make sure your magnets are okay. And turn them just like that. Now these are actually set up to be like this. And it has a slight turn. Which is alright, because they're going to be spinning like the fourth one I built and I just wanted to show you guys uh, I, 
I have a video out now with my wind generator up and running, but uh, I didn't get to show you the inside and how I assembled the inside. And uh, I just wanted to do that. And then, like I said, next video I'm gonna put the cover on, bolt the cover down, and put the, uh, the props on it. Hanging up outside on a windy day. Hook it to the rectifier. Um, and get the multi. The, I have a digital multi reader. I'm gonna hook that up to see what kind of power we're getting out. And over here, the wires. Uh, uh, Mudman on YouTube. You look up Mudman. He'll teach you how to figure out what wires you want to use. And you'll have secondary wires you can hook up. I'm still working on that. For each set of wires you do use, you need a separate rectifier. So for this one, it has two sets of wires, so I would need two rectifiers to get all the power out of this unit. But uh, I'm going to hook it up to one set of wires, and we'll see what we're getting out of it. Alright, thanks for watching, and have a great day.